Yep, both of my markers are now outside the town. Or, wait a minute. No, actually, I've got one right here. Where is this guy? Wait, there's one. That's him. Wait, so we're... You're not with anybody? You're not gonna get your guys and go out there, dude? Alright, I guess he's just gonna chill. Maybe he's, like, having some mead. I don't know. He's a wood elf, but some of them have a bit Nordish tendencies. A bit... Uh, tendencies that are a bit Nordic, I should say. So we'll just wait for a day and see if they go out to the cavern or not. If we can't get them to go out to the cavern, it'd be rather difficult to just murder them in the town. Uh, <laughs> it would be kind of ironic, too, since there were a vampire killing vampire hunters. In fact, our entire situation in this matter is complicated by the fact that we're a vampire. Although not, uh, the game doesn't actually recognize that complication. It's just, uh, I don't really know how to phrase it. The player will recognize that it's a bit ironic. Or at the very least, interesting. That I'm a vampire protecting a vampire by killing other vampires and vampire hunters. So it's kind of... Mm. But, but the whole reason that I have to help this guy, the whole reason that I'm doing this, is to work with my guild's policy of protecting Count Hasseldor's identity as human and not vampire. But it's kind of ironic because I'm a vampire too, and so if my guild knew about, like, me, Eridor's fleeing. Ha <laughs> ha! Losers! Dude, I knew they were noobs as soon as I saw them. Ah, but like, if my guild knew that I was a vampire, I don't think they'd, they'd be very happy about that. And so it's kind of interesting that I, I could be in Count Hasseldor's situation if I was, uh, if things were a little bit different. You found Bloodcrust Cavern. Is this it right here? Well, er wherever Eridor is, he's fleeing, so I suppose we should head inside and go kick some ass. Alright, so our goal here in the cave is kill everything. And, uh, we don't, need, we don't even have to worry about contracting Porphyra Chemophilia since we're already a vampire. Do I have boots on? Let's sneak a little bit more effectively without the boots. Yes, yes. Detect life would help here too, actually. Let's use that. Wa wa. Alright, so anybody nearby right now? I don't see any purple. No? Well, okay, let's go this way. Oh, somebody down there. A couple people. Are those the hunters or they're running, whatever they whoever they are. So they're smearing their life signatures around. So wherever they're at. Not particularly happy. Yeah, it looks like it sounds like they're in a battle. Who's this? Oh, Blood Cross Vampire. Greater Staff of Severing. An elven short sword and a gray rope. I'll actually take all of that. That's kinda neat. Cast this again. I like to be able to see through the wall here. So as you can see there's a battle going on that we're just kind of watching right now. I'm not gonna get involved just yet. If I can avoid it. Let's see what's in this chest here. Potion of sorcery, I'll take it. Yeah, they're right in the next room. Oh, Blood Cross Vampire, there's another one. Uh, Mithril, meh. Sounds like the hunters are actually winning. Why was Eridor fleeing? Is he a plot critical character or something? Somebody's gonna sp Yeah, sorry, somebody's gonna spot us. Who are we going after? The vampires first? There's the hunters, yeah. Okay, cool. What's up? I'm just doing my job. You got a problem with it? You go talk to Eridor. Y'all are actually kicking ass. What's up, dude? Hello again, citizen. Uh, so have you killed all the vampires, or what? What is it you want to know? Wait, wait a minute, I don't... If... Why can't I have dialogue? Okay. It's worthless to me, anyway. What are y'all doing? Wait a minute! Dude, your dude got killed! Dude! Take his gold. Take his... It's what was going on? They've spotted another vampire, I guess. And they're sprinting off to go do battle. Eh, we'll let them... I'm gonna search the bodies here. Wait a minute. Blood Cross Vampire... What's that guy's name? Karsten? I guess he brought three or four guys with him. Eridor, I mean, brought three or four guys with him. Oh, we'll take that potion. And blah, blah, blah. Looking around here. Just generally checking for loot. Good policy. Let's see. Is that them over there that I just saw, or...? No? Another vampire. Short sword of voltage, soul trap, and shock damage. 
That's nice to have. We'll take it. He's gonna take it! That sounds like a... the end of deal or no deal. Do your worst. Blood! I need your blood! I need your blood! Which one's the vampire? I can't even tell. Okay, there's the door. And you're the vampire? Whoops, that's not the spell I wanted. Dang it. It's a shocker. Oh! Yeah! The vampires in Blood Crust Cavern have been disposed of. Apparently with an axe to the face. Now I must deal with the hunters. I'm gonna wait for my spell of Detect Life to wear off because it's kind of... Hey, vampire dust, that's valuable. What's up, dude? Hello again, citizen. This is a really funny way to look at you. Okay, whatever. I don't, I don't need to talk to you. Vontus died. Uh, look, look at all the vampire dust he's got. We'll take that. This is actually would be a great way to get the vampire dust that you... Whoops. I don't want his sword. It's not worth anything to me. Uh, this actually would be a great way to get a good number of vampire dust credits. Alright, so the only guy left in here is going to be this one here. So I'm just going to... Oh, come on. Didn't kill him? Shocker. That'll finish you Ow! off. <laughs> uh, Alright, vampire hunters and skin dried have now been killed. Hooray, they're both dead. Both of the uh, raging factions. We'll take the vampire dust. Neat, neat, neat. And even if we don't give it to... Uh, what's his name? The guy who kicks us out of the guild. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's how I identify Ramnus now. He's the guy who kicks us out of the guild. Dwarven Curious. It's pretty heavy, but kind of cool. Pumpkin. Chest. Gold. Okay. Guide. Cup. Eh, okay. I'm gonna head outside. I think I'm done here. Oh, we got some mushrooms. Take those. Nice to have alchemical ingredients, if possible. And we'll head back outside. I guess now we have to go... Do we have to go report back to the Count, or can we immediately return to Hannibal? I get the feeling that we're gonna have to, uh... Yeah, well, we have to go back to the Count so we can get the information. I like this quest. I like a little bit of a... manipulation quest. Because well, we could have actually gone into town and killed the hunters there. Or we could have gone straight to the cave and killed all the vampires. Uh, what I believe you can do is you can go to the cave, kill all the vampires, and then go tell the hunters that the vampires are in the cave. And when they go to the cave, you go there and kill the hunters, too. So all the bodies end up in the cave. Alternatively, you can do what I did and have the two factions fight each other by telling the vampire hunters where the vampires are while the vampires are still there. Yeah, still alive. Or, or rather, undead. And then you get what we had uh, in this example, which was the two of them duking it out and basically the vampire hunters killing all the vampires for you and then you only having to mop up whatever vampire hunters remain. You have completed your tasks for the Count, have you not? Then, please, wait here while I inform him. And the other option is to just kill the vampire hunters while they're in town, kill the vampires while they're in the cave. I don't believe there's any way to go to the cave and tell the vampires where the hunters are, because I don't, I don't really think that they would be... Uh, for one, just based on like the characters, I don't think that they would really be that interested in uh, going into town to hunt out vampire hunters. And second, I doubt that you'd be able to t initiate dialogue with them anyway. When you get into the cave, they'd probably immediately fight you. Oh, great, I'm a vampire. Beautiful young woman. Yes, yes, yes. Have we read this one yet? I don't know. You can pause and read it if we haven't. I got kind of tired of reading those. <laughs> My voice sounded a little creepy when I was reading them, too. How come the guards on the, uh... We're standing down, he's standing down there instead of Dan standing up here like he was before. Why did they move down there? Alright, so we're still waiting on this, uh... Bitch has come back. Oh, that he got here. You can see the thing skip ahead. That's uh, that's being interrupted. Hey, Count. So the work is complete. Now we can discuss the information I have for you. Yup. So tell me about this information you got. Your guild does not fully appreciate the danger which quickly approaches. Hopefully, when you return to them, their eyes will be opened. The necromancers are a sign of things to come. An old acquaintance of the guild has come to Cyrodiil, and they are answering his call. While I do not know for quite what purpose he has arrived, I believe the Guild of Mages is in great danger. Mana Marco has returned. Nearly invincible, what? he has established himself somewhere in the north of Cyrodiil. This is all that I know. See to it that your leader, Traven, learns this as soon as possible. I have no love for your guild, but I have no wish to see it destroyed either. Oh, damn. Who's this guy? He's an old and powerful necromancer. 
Traven will recognize the name even if you do not. Damn. Well, let's go tell our boss. Return. Ooh. Bad stuff be going down, yo. Return to the Arcane University. Let them know what's happening. All right, we're back here in the Arcane University. Let's go talk to Hannibal Traven and tell him we got some bitches, man. Looks like we got some bitches up in the north of Cyrodiil following me and Marco. It's me, Man Marco. Good to see you too, person. Oh, it's Erlov, right. Up through the warps we go. Hey, dude. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna feed on him. Feed on the boss of the Mage's Guild. Pretty funny. Pretty good. Looking for blood, etc., etc. Oh, I don't want to feed again. Dude. Huh. I wasn't sneaking. I hope he doesn't wake up. Uh, he doesn't. Okay, good. Let's save. I haven't been saved since I started this recording session. It's been like half an hour, so... Always a good idea to save frequently. Quite frequently. Alright, so... Talk. Thank you. What news from Skingrad? I assume you've spoken to Count Hasseldor? Yeah, so there's this bitch in the north, dude. What? Yep. Is that possible? This is grave news indeed. I had, perhaps foolishly, believed that necromancy was all but stamped out in Cyrodiil. It seems I couldn't have been more mistaken. I shall need to consult the Council as to how to proceed with this situation. Thank you for the information. It may save many lives. Oh yeah. We're awesome. No, 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 don't go, don't go back to sleep on my next mission, dude. Come on. What are you doing? Sleeping on the job is what you're doing. My attention is focused on the council right now. I will need you soon enough. I need more time. Alright, yeah, focus your attention on that council right there. Yeah, focus. That's right. Okay, well, I guess we need to wait for a day. But I don't want to do it somewhere where I'm trespassing, so I'm just going to go down here and... Actually, you can't do it somewhere where you're trespassing, so it doesn't matter. And we'll wait for 24 hours, since I think that's what you have to do. Uh, it might even be worthwhile to go back down to Romanus and see if we can get promoted again, but I doubt we're ready for another promotion already. So we'll just wait. Man, every time I look up at my at my uh, roommate Phoenix's wall, he's got this album. Uh, it's, an old, it's an old Jethro Tull, Tull album cover. It's one that looks like a newspaper. And the big headline is, Thick as a Brick, of course. Greetings. And uh, every time I, I see it, even though it isn't a Jethro, Jethro Toll song, I immediately think of, like, The Wall, and that song is just another brick in the wall and all that. It just uh, gets stuck in my head every time I see the word brick now. I don't know. My attention is fo Seriously, how much time do you need, dude? You've been napping for, like, a day. This is ridiculous. This is straight ridiculous, man. Ugh, okay. Let's wait again. Wait a minute. Maybe the reason that he's not ready is because we're supposed to go do Hi another there. quest for Romanus first or something like that. Let's go talk to Romanus and see what's up with him. And if at least we can check to see if we're going to get promoted or not. Alright, so do you have any tasks for us? Your tasks now come direct. Right, yeah, you're not going to... Okay, we, it could be advanced. No, we can't be... Okay. So I guess we just have to wait. I, I, I had 12 hours left, so I'm just going to continue with that. Okay, we're vampire again. Great. That's so annoying, man. Definitely gonna get rid of that. As soon as this quest line is over, there'll be I'll make a miscellaneous video where I'll go and uh, remove my vampirism. All right, wakey wakey. Actually, you know what? This is kind of convenient here. I'm just gonna go ahead and feed. Oh man, my skin's peeling off. I had a sunburn. Oh jeez, that's not pleasant. All right, let's talk now. What's up, dude? Like wakey. Whoa. The council is in complete disarray at the news of Manny Marco's presence in Cyrodiil. The King of Worms has obviously targeted the guild, but we have no idea why. No demands have been made. All of my attention is devoted to the council. We must discern the reason for this sudden attack and stop Manny Marco before he destroys us all. I am unable to look into something that has been brought to my attention. Are you capable of going on my behalf? Oh yeah. Good. Please go to Bruma. I have not heard from Jean Frasoric for a few days now, which is unusual for her. While I welcome the break from correspondence with her, I worry that something may be amiss given recent developments. Find out if Jean is all right, and let me know if she needs anything. 